Hey guys, it's Mark, and welcome to Chatting with Mark Stice. Okay, this was a little bit of a nostalgia thing, kind of walking down uh, memory lane. This is actually number 92. The bees were our mascot in, in high school. We were the Bayonne Bees. I know that sounds ridiculous, but basically you could tell from the uniform that Ed's wearing, it basically says, you know, 92 bees. And I started walking kind of nostalgically down memory lane, looking at these various videos uh, and these various photos. And the one thing that I noticed right off the bat, because when I was looking at like things from my high school days, is the size of the shoulder pads. And it didn't dawn on me initially, but it was like, oh yeah, these guys were like freaking brutes. You know, it was one of the things that was intimidating about football players, especially when they played football. Just the sheer size of the shoulder pads, the sheer size of their shoulders made them to look massive. But nowadays, the shoulder pads just aren't that big. It, it, it quite literally, like, look at number 34 here in the, in the green uniform. I mean, obviously he's there with his dad. He's obviously really proud. But look at the size of the shoulder pads. I mean, they're they're tiny. I mean, they're they're virtually non-existent. If you didn't do a close-up, you wouldn't be able to tell there actually was padding there, you know. Uh, the same thing with number 85 here, you know. He's obviously a linebacker, you know, definitely play, 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 playing football and stuff like that. But clearly nothing uh, compared to what we're used to. If you take a look at, where's that group shot that I had? Yeah, if you look at these three guys from my old high school, you got number 67, number 52, and number 78. And 67 alone, just look at the size of the shoulder pads. It's just enormous. You know, and it was there to protect the players. It was there to make sure that the, the players didn't get themselves hurt. But even this picture, you could see, you know, the shoulder pads look fairly big. But as you could see in a comparison, okay, we've got number 95 on the left and number 95 on the right. The only difference is the shoulder pads on number 95 on the right clearly are a hell of a lot smaller than the ones taken with this particular player who obviously was a couple of years back. You know, that's what I'm saying. The shoulder pads literally have been condensed in size. So my question is, when did this start out and how is it not helping the players? In other words, is it providing the same amount of protection that it did back in the day, back in the 80s. I mean, I realize it's been 40 years and times change and equipment changes and stuff like that. I get that part. But still, what prevents the injury? I mean, did you just decide to like cut down on the shoulder pads because it looked too big? Or was there a reason? Did you guys come up with some some new method of these, these smaller shoulder pads absorbing the energy from being hit by another player? So if you guys know, please leave a comment. I'm really being honest here. I'd like to know, look at number 44. 44 on the left, his shoulder pads are massive. Then you've got another player, the exact same number, because I, I spent time to kind of look for old football players new versus new football players. Like look at number 44. I mean, literally on the left-hand side, that, those shoulder pads are massive. Look at number 44 on the right. Not putting the guy down or anything like that, but just look at the difference in the equipment. Look how the equipment is different. And that's my thought. That's my call. That's my question. What is keeping them protected? You know, what evolution did these shoulder pads go through over the 80s, over the 90s, in the 2000s, 2010, now 2020? It's, it's, it's 2021 now, you know? What protects these these players, these high school players, today? What gives them the same level of protection that these varsity players that I knew back in the day? What gives what gives these players the same amount of protection as these players? 
That's my question. I'm Mark Stice. Thanks for watching the video. Bye. Hey guys, hope you really did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button and hit that subscribe. If you want to, by all means, feel free to share it off with your friends. And if you really like the video and you want to help support my channel on Patreon, feel free to click the link. If you can't afford a monthly subscription, there's always the one-time donation with the buy me a cup of coffee link. All the links are in the description portion of the video. Well, that's all the time I have. Thanks again.